It's day three of the seven day self portrait challenge and I'm very excited today because I get to finally shoot with this. My feather creation and I've got a crown and I'm also going to be wearing these gold gloves which you've probably seen in quite a few of my videos, especially the three photographers one because that's what I used on my location. I know exactly where we're going today. If you saw day one of me walking through the Hargate Forest and I showed you how amazing it was, that's where we're going to go back to today so you'll see it in more depth on this video. I'm starting this video a little bit later today so I'm a bit nervous that I won't be able to get everything up and sorted. The other two days I've done them before like 10 o'clock in the morning but it's now, what time is it? And it's 10 o'clock now and we're only just going out. We better get cracking. How cool is this? And if you saw my Instagram live you would have seen me making this and a lot of you helped me decide where the feathers go. I've just noticed as well that there's a bit of a gap here, I don't know if you can see. So it means that I might have to do a bit of photoshop on that because I've got no more feathers left to use but it'll be fine it looks cool anyway and I think I might change the colour of the green to black but I think we'll see when we get there I'm on you. <laughs> so we've got feathers, stool, I've got chocolate biscuits because they're a priority and I've got tripod and then I've got my props in there and I've got some smoke bombs because I might use them but we'll see <laughs> I have my helper hello, hello. Go probably this way. We've got our props, we've got a stool, and ah, it's raining! <laughs> oh, well, it's not raining, but the trees just rained on us. I've got a big drop on my head. If anyone's interested in in the war or wartime things, this is a bunker, and I think people made it for like the generals. This is another one. It's like another entrance to the bunker. You can't actually get down them, but. We tried to look down them one time and it's very weird and scary. Look. Oh, it creeps me out. Two packs been here. <laughs> so maybe in the middle somewhere. It's a bit chilly and a bit windy. Ah! <laughs> I got a thorn in my leg. Who decided that rips in jeans were a good idea? Because that's where it hit me. <laughs> well, it looks like a, a creepy creature. This is nature's coat hanger. <laughs> it's gonna blow away. That would be well creepy just to leave it there. Oh my god, people think it's something like Blair Witch Project. That was more like burlesque dancer, whereas I wanted to do more forest creature nymph slash fairy, so it worked better without the anyway. Put the crown back on as well, so just to get a bit of variation really. And now I'm getting the shots of the surroundings so that I can potentially make it square if I need to. But yeah, I think we've got it! Now we're on the way back to the car and I'm freezing. So we were just walking back to the car and it is absolutely 
kissing it down. <laughs> we made it in time. It's actually such good timing. I know. But I don't know if you can see or hear, but it is really rainy. Actually, it's slowing down a bit now, so let's walk. Let's make a break. Let's make a break for it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. oh, it's getting wet. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> and then as soon as we get back in the car, it stops raining. <laughs> so I'm now a wet, drowned rat for nothing. But we can drive home with the windows open. What to <laughs> blow dry our hair? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go and edit the pictures. I'm all dry now. We did actually go to town just for an hour just to get some bits, and then I've come back and I'm editing the images. My hair's gone a bit wild again. I've finished, and I'm very, very happy. In the end, I decided to change the colour of the feathers. I'll show you the before. This is before and then this is after. It just gives a bit more depth and I really like the colour palette of it as well because it's quite dark blacks, greens, uh, browns. It's very, very natural, which I love. So yeah, that's today's image. I had a very lovely time in the woods just stripping off basically. If you're ever feeling stuck or a little bit down, you're under pressure from things, just go into the woods and take your clothes off. Maybe do it when there's no one around or when you're with someone. But honestly, it feels so liberating. It's such a great way um, to get rid of any anxieties and stuff like that. I just love love it. Obviously, if you don't like that kind of thing, then don't do it. But, but if you're like me, you'll love it. All right, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you tomorrow for day four. I can't believe it's day four tomorrow already. That means that like, I'll be over halfway by tomorrow. That's actually really weird. Anyway, I'll see you then. Bye.